Okay, I am sitting here waiting for my children to get out of school, and so I love to be um, using all my time all the time. <laughs> Whether I be sitting here looking at property, or sending amendments, or responding to emails. So today I'm doing this live video because um, fairly frequently, not all the time, but fairly frequently, I get contacted. Right? Um, I get contacted by people that say, "Hey, you know, I'm interested in looking at property," and "Hey, you know, um, I want to look at some homes," or I want to buy some land or I want to buy a home and can you show me this home or can you show me some homes and I and then so so the progression goes like this so say oh that's great I'd love to help you I'd love to show you some homes or I'd love to look for some property for you or I'd love to send you some homes you know and uh, recently I was told hey I, I'm looking for acreage out in such and such an area and then so I say and whether it's a home in such and such an area then the next question I say is numero uno get on the scale. <laughs> I say that because I was an athlete for many, many years and I like to think of myself as one. I'm just taking a little break. But meaning, what do I mean by get on the scale? I mean, talk to a lender. Have you been pre-approved? Okay, if you've been pre-approved, that means you've talked to a lender, you have turned in your pay stubs, you have had them review your credit, you've had them check your bank accounts, you've had them check overtime or whatever else you have, okay? They've checked your savings, they've checked, you know, they check all your tax uh, returns, right? They've done all that. That means you're pre-approved. You're not pre-qualified. I wanna know, now I can work with someone who's pre-qualified is if they know what they're talking about, like, yeah, I talked to a lender and I bought a home before and, you know, they kind of know what they're doing, but if you've never bought a home before and you're like, oh, well, I talked to a lender on Quicken or I emailed them and they said I was pre-approved for this. And I said, well, did you talk to them? Did you send in your tax statements? Did you um, send in your pay stubs and your bank account statements? No, no, they just said I could. I said, yeah, well, okay, let's talk to them and let's make sure we give them all your information. Okay, because what's happened I, plenty of times <laughs> and I have a reputation of having buyers that follow through. I don't have buyers falling out of escrow, okay? Never, twice in six years. One, I think they got divorced. I didn't wanna pester them too much, but the wife was like, send the money to my mom's house over here and we're not moving there and things have changed. And I'm like, whoa. And the other one was a guy lost his job unsuspectingly, okay? But I've never had people denied. I had one, another one that was almost denied because the underwriter, although they had the information from day one on his student loans, when it came like close to closing, like the day or two before closing, they're like, oh, well, your payment schedule changes next year or in two years, so we're not going to qualify you. And we're like, oh my gosh. So thank God his dad co-signed. Okay. Anyway, and that being said, I'm going to be asking you if you're pre-approved, have you turned in your pay stubs, your taxes, blah, blah, blah. I've already repeated that. But if you don't, and, and if you say, well, um, I'm okay, I just wanna see the homes. I said, I'm not gonna show you homes because I don't know what you're pre-approved for. Um, unless you brought property before and you know exactly what you're doing, I'm not gonna run around and show homes for you or go searching for homes until I know exactly what we can buy, meaning what my price range is. Same thing when it goes for land, it's the same thing. I need to know what you're approved to buy and if you're going with cash, if you're gonna say, oh, well, I'll buy the land or the home with cash, then I need proof of cash funds because if I find something with you in the next week or two or whatever, I need to know that I have that proof of cash funds on hand. And if you say, no, I have it, no, I have it, no, I have it, and you've never provided that to me and you act weird about me asking it to you, because if you have it, you have no problem providing it to me. You call your financial institution and you tell them to email me a letter that says, um, I, Charles Schwab Institution, uh, testify that James Brown has sufficient funds to buy our property for $200,000, okay? And you have a reputable um, person on that, letterhead that I can call and talk to and verify that this is true because I'm telling you I've had it happen several times where the guys have like try to sounds cheesy guys but they try to flirt with me or impress me or get my time and they say oh I want to look at water pro property and we look here look there and when I press them it's obvious they don't know what they're talking about okay or we want to flip or we want to do investment property and I push them for the approval letter I push them for the proof of cash funds and sure enough, they get all agitated and annoyed that I'm asking, well, I just want to look and I just want to, I just want to see what's out there. Well, I don't know what you're looking for and I don't even know if you can follow through. And when I did my profiling, just by the way, um, I have um, some special skills. <laughs> um, I wanted to be an investigative uh, profiler in college. 
Be, but then when I th thought about it, I didn't want to be up all hours of the day and night going to crime scenes, even though I know that would be fascinating to me. I just knew that I was going to have a family and I did not want to spend all my time doing that. Nonetheless, I have trained myself to be an investigator. So if you do these things and you contact me like this, I will be investigating you on all these special ways that I investigate people and I'll find out. So, um, you know, just be straight with me. <laughs> For example, one time, this guy was like, oh, I want waterfront property and this and that. And I'm like, well, how much? How much cash do you have? What are you going to spend? And he kept going how on and on about how he wanted this and he wanted that. I'm like, well, how many bedrooms? What's your price range? And he kept like resisting me and giving me a hard time. And I said, look. So I did all my investigating. The guy lived in like a $70,000 house. Nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. But he's asking me to look for $400,000 properties. Okay, telling me how he's all set and he's getting offended that I want some sort of proof that he's approved. Well, I'll get my cousin to help me. I'll go, go for it, you know, because the guy couldn't, another guy did the same thing. He was like trying to get me to look at property to impress me or whatever, to have communication with me. And it turns out the guy's in foreclosure on his house in Arizona. So my point to you is, I'm going to, I'm going to find out what your story is. And I'm going to find out if you're telling me the truth. And if you don't want to tell me the truth and don't talk to me because I don't have time. I have a lot of amazing clients and that I'm going to invest my heart and soul into. So I don't have time for people that are daydreaming are not willing to do what I say or answer the questions that I ask them because they're not being forthright. So if you want to work with me, be ready to just be open and real and give me all your stuff and not be ashamed because there's no shame. Maybe you got horrible credit and you have no cash and I don't care. That's okay. We're cool. Maybe you only spend a hundred grand. That's okay. I'm going to take care of you, but we're going to make sure you're approved and I'm, we're not going to run around wasting my time or your time when we need to spend time on other things when it, it's not even possible. Okay. Or just for fun. Okay. So if, if you work with me or anyone else, be ready, be ready. You don't want to go run full speed ahead, find a house you fall in love with and then find out that you're not really approved because they found out this school school loan or they found out that you know you had a foreclosure or they found out that you co-signed a loan for somebody or whatever and you know you don't want to do that and then fall out of escrow and be disappointed and spend hundreds of dollars on inspections and you know hold up a seller <laughs> you know so um i will take care of you i'm i'm like a good boot camp instructor for real estate okay i'll get you there but you gotta be real. You can't tweak the scale and you know make it read different when it's really something else, okay? Have a good day.